There are a few well-known open source maintainers within the PHP community against the use of named arguments. They say that maintenance overhead and backward compatibility problems are the reasons they don't want to use them. So I want to nuance those arguments a little bit. First of all, what's causing backwards compatibility problems? The main fear is that supporting named arguments in, for example, a framework or open source package will increase the risk of breaking changes. Now, imagine a package or framework exposing this class. The problem with named arguments is that if users call this function with them, the framework now needs to treat parameter name changes as possible breaking ones. If the framework wants to rename left column and right column to simply left and right, for example, uh, this code, user land code, it would break. Now here's the thing, no framework or package can prevent users from using named arguments. Uh, there simply isn't a way to disallow them. So either as an open source maintainer, you uh, treat argument name changes as breaking as soon as you support PHP 8, uh, you ask users not to use named arguments, or you let users deal with those breaking changes themselves and don't worry about it. Now, being an open source maintainer myself, I choose option three. Argument name changes only rarely happen. And second, I trust my users to be professional developers and know the consequences of, of using named arguments. They are smart grown-ups, it's their responsibility. Let's talk about the second way named arguments can be used in combination with variadic functions, essentially becoming, in my opinion, a cleaner shorthand for passing arrays of data. And this is possible thanks to named arguments playing well together with variadic functions. And passing a named argument list into this variadic create function will result in an array like this. And so rewriting the above example without named arguments, but arrays instead, would look something like this. Now, I know which one of these two approaches I prefer. And disclaimer, it's the one that has better syntax highlighting and is shorter to write. But here's the kicker, there isn't any possibility for breaking changes in these examples because there aren't any hard-coded argument names to begin with. So we really need to be more thoughtful about claiming that we cannot support named arguments in our open source packages because of backwards compatibility issues. In the first case, there's nothing you can do either way, and the second case doesn't pose any danger of breaking changes. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I hope you'll start using named arguments and enjoy them as much as I do. So this is possible thanks to 